Welcome to Ruben Papian TV. Today's subject is the past. We all think that the past is what makes us us today. Let's see whether it's true or it's maybe misconception. Whatever am I today is just because I passed the road that I passed called life and my experience makes me rich. My experience makes me flexible and adaptable. But is it right? If that would go that way, then we're definitely all of us, we all would be happy already. But look around, everybody's looking for happiness all of a sudden. It means their experience didn't make them clever or happier or flexible. Other way around, experience makes you stiff, makes you rigid. You call that rich? Yes, in a sense of luggages. You have a lot of luggages that you cannot get rid of. But let's not forget, experience belongs to the past. In particular condition, in particular situation, you behave a certain way. But everything is changing. So today's situation, which looks like yesterday's, is not the same, because time has changed. But still, you don't know how to behave. So you behave the same way because your experience dictates you how to behave. In order to behave properly today, you have to understand the rules of today, the rules of now. But we are still basing our decisions on our experience, on our past. And we are so proud of ourselves by repeating the same mistakes all over again. About luggages. Imagine that within the last 30 years you collected a lot of stuff and put it in your luggage. Thing is, life is not steady issue. It's growing, moving, it's a living organism and you are moving during all your life. That luggage is constantly with you. Now imagine that you are moving from one city to another city. You are on a road because life is going on. And each city you have particular fashion suitable for that city. What you're going to wear? The stuff you, that you bought in previous cities? No, the, the citizens of that city will not understand that. So you are going to the shop and are buying new stuff, call it experience, and wearing the new one. But what you're going to do with the previous one? It's still with you. You are taking it as a richness to yourself and carrying with you on and on and on. So you have tons of experiences that you don't use anymore and you will never use anymore. Why you don't get rid of those experiences? And no matter whether they are good or bad, just get rid of that in order slowly to get rid of old-fashioned experiences and be ready to step into the future, to the new city, we're gonna have exercise. Today's exercise is how to get rid of the past. Let's start the exercise. Sit down, close your eyes and put your palms on your thighs. Breathe normally, relax for 30 seconds. Tilt your head back and focus on your nape for one minute, like this. You will feel something in your nape. It will feel heavy and flatly. Straighten your head slowly. Feel that heaviness and flatness remaining where they were before, as if they are outside of your head, behind your head. So. From this part, it lives behind. Just sit for 15 seconds. Then stand up and bow your head until you feel tension in your neck. When you feel it, 
straighten your head back. You will feel relaxed, as if a weight has gone. You will have different sensations in your entire body. Stand for 15 seconds and follow those sensations. After that, open your eyes. Exercise is finished. My recommendation, do this exercise in the evening before you go to sleep.